ever wonder what a $30 million helicopter looks like? Formerly the Bell Augusta BA-609, the Leonardo AW-609 is a twin-engine tilt-rotor VTOL aircraft with a configuration similar to that of the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, which is used in military, while the Leonardo version is designed for and aimed at the civil aviation market, such as VIP customers, offshore oil and gas operators, or pretty much anyone who can afford its price tag at $30 million. Designed to carry up to nine passengers, plus two in the crew, and determined to match the speed, range, and altitude of an airplane, what makes this aircraft so special is all of that plus the versatility of a helicopter. The AW609 is a tilt rotor aircraft capable of performing vertical landings whereas conventional fixed wing aircrafts cannot, allowing the aircraft to serve such locations such as heliports or very small airports, while processing twice the speed and range of any available helicopter with a maximum speed of 509 kilometers per hour. Augusta Westland promotes the aircraft as combining the benefits of a helicopter and a fixed wing aircraft into one aircraft. The AW609 appears to be outwardly similar to the military oriented V22 Osprey. However, the two aircrafts share few components. Unlike the V22, the AW609 has a pressurized cabin. As of 2013, multiple cabin configurations have been projected, including a standard 9-passenger layout, a 6-7 to seven passenger VIP executive cabin, and a search and rescue model featuring a hoist basket and 4 single seats. Medevac and patrol surveillance oriented variants has also been proposed. For increased passenger comfort, the cabin is both pressurized and equipped with soundproofing. Access to the cabin is via a 35-inch wide two-piece clamshell door center set into the fuse lodge underneath the wings. The AW609 is powered by a pair of Prath & Whitney Canada PT6C67A turbo shaft engines, which each drive a three-blade proter. These engines possess roughly twice the horsepower of the similarly sized Augusta Westland AW169 helicopter. Both of the engine and the propeller pairs are mounted on a load-bearing rotable pylon at the wing's ends, allowing the propellers to be positioned at various angles. In helicopter mode, the propellers can be positioned between a 75 and 95 degree angle from the horizontal with 87 degrees being the typical section for hovering vertically. In airplane mode, the propellers are rotated forward and locked in position at a zero degree angle, spinning at 84% RPM. The flight control software reportedly handles much of the complexity of the transitioning between helicopter and airplane modes. Automated systems also serve to guide pilots to the correct tilt angle and airspeed settings. When flying in airplane mode, the majority of lift is produced by the AW609's wings, which are slightly forward swept. Both the wing and the main fuselage are made largely of composite materials. The 34 foot long wings feature flaperon control surfaces, which are normally automatically controlled. In vertical flight, the flaperons drop to a 66 degree downward angle to reduce the wing area being encountered by downwash from the propellers. A high mounted roundedless vertical stabilizer is attached to the rear of the fuselage to stabilize flight while in aircraft mode. In the event of a single engine failure, either engine can provide power to both propellers via a drive shaft. The AW609 is also capable of auto rotation. The AW609 has been designed to develop full transport category class 1 performance to operate safely even when flown under single engine conditions. It is equipped with a de-icing system and is to be certified for flying into known icy conditions. 
Building on experience with the V22, the AW609 is outfitted with a sync rate warning system. Avionics include a triple redundant digital fly-by-wire flight control system, a head-up display system, and full authority digital engine controls. The cockpit has been designed so that the AW609 can be flown by a single pilot in instrument flight rules conditions. Several of the aircraft's controls, such as blade pitch, are designed to resemble and function like their counterparts on conventional rotary crafts, enabling helicopter pilots to transition to the type more easily, while elements of the aircraft's controls feature touchscreen interfaces. The Leonardo AW609 is definitely in a league of its own when it comes to aircrafts. With a price tag said between 20 and 30 million dollars, that makes it if not the most expensive helicopter on the market, on the top list and running. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with all of that. If you like this video and you wanna watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. Anyway, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Until next time, catch you in the next one.